Hey, thanks for joining me again. I really enjoy doing these things with you because I love praying. I love talking to the Lord. And he's the best. And who better to communicate with in life than the one who is the source and the author of life and knows everything that's best for my life. So thanks for joining me. Uh, we've been talking about the love of God. And if you're a believer and a disciple, and I know you are because you're involved in this session with me, I'm going to just read to you from the book of 1 John chapter 4. I'm going to read a verse to you and then we'll just quickly wrap it up from there. Uh, verse 16 says, We know it is so, we know it so well, we've embraced it heart and soul, this love that comes from God. God is love. When we take a permanent residence in a life of love, we live in God and God lives in us. The next verse says, this way, love has the run of the house because it becomes at home and mature in us so that we are free of worry on judgment day. Our standing in the world is identical with Christ's. I really love the way that this, the Message Bible put it. When this love has come and takes its home in us, this way love has the run of the house and becomes at home and mature in us. Run of the house? Which house? This house. The house of my body, soul, and spirit. So when we make this decision, love has the run of the house. And I, have, I just really enjoy that, that kind of imagery of children running around the house free. You know, just maybe pets running around after them. And, you know, when there's... Nobody's worried about if they're making it dirty or making a fuss about anything and, and the kids are laughing and the, kid, and the dogs are chasing and the cats are mowing and, and it's like everybody's got the free run of the house, you know. That's the picture that I get here when love has got the free run of your house. It's like where, wherever God is, there is joy, there is happiness, there's peace, there's just all those wonderful, amazing things that... God has for us. You, your whole future looks bright. Your, your hope increases. Your whole desire for God gets stronger. You feel inspired. You want to just, just want to have, you want to have more of God because it's like, it's so good. It's such a wonderful thing. This love, the love of God is the greatest and the best ever. So once again, I want to encourage you just make a decision that you are going to walk in the love of God. Next session we're together, I'm going to share with you how this passage of Scripture changed my faith walk with God forever. So let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, again for this great love that you have for us. And today I make a declaration that I give your love free reign in this house. It will have freedom in this house. It will have the run of the house in my heart. And we will have delight, we will have joy, we will have laughter, we will have peace, we will have great hope for tomorrow because your great love abides in my heart. I love you, Father, and I receive your great love that you have for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let's pray in the Holy Spirit in and, and love the Lord with our prayer language. Hogre mando sti gingango ste gete gaya more. Lingrangingonda, alamangondi ste gigindov lengrangishi. He bogonde ganda le de disto dolobum brondende.